In this tutorial, I will demonstrate a couple ways to array a shape around a circular pattern. The method that I'll be using originated from a tip in Tab Myung Ba's online Inkscape manual. Even though this manual is free to view, I encourage you to purchase it in PDF format from informit.com. I'm sure Tav Myung would appreciate it. Also, I have provided links here for you to view. Um, Tav Myung's uh, online manual is at this address right here and it looks just like this. Um, here is a link to the actual tip that I've uh, clipped from the manual. It is here. This is what we'll be doing today. And here is a link to the actual PDF book. And it is $15 from InformIT. And I'm sure Tab Myung would appreciate it if that was purchased. So let's begin. Okay. The first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to take a little different approach. Um, what Tav is showing here is a shape inside of a, a rectangle. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of a different approach and draw just a Bezier path. Okay. Next, I'm going to go into my document properties and change my snap settings. so that when I draw a circle I'll snap onto this uh, end node. I'll go ahead and draw a circle now and we'll give this just a little bit different color. There we go. Now when I bring it over here you'll see that it's snapping onto the center of my circle. That's what I want. So for example if I give this a stroke And if we shut the fill off, you can see that the end node is right in the middle of my circle. Okay, that's what we want. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is combine these two shapes. Okay, now there are two ways to go about doing this. One is uh, we can use the tile, tiled uh, clones dialog box or we can do it manually just by duplicating. I'll show you both ways. The first th way that we're going to do this is we're going to do just a manual rotate. So I'll right click on this and hit duplicate and I'll select this again and holding my control key down I can rotate this around any way that I want. I'll go ahead and duplicate this one and you will see that I'm rotating by holding the control key down I'm rotating to the center of my combined shapes and there you go now all that I need to do is pick both of these things ungroup them and I could delete my construction lines there and you see that I've got four circles arrayed around a circle. Okay, so we'll roll this back. Okay, now the the final way that we can do this is we'll go up to our clone, create tiled clones, and let me scoot this over just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do a simple P1 translation we're going to go into our shift tab and we're going to select for the shift X negative 100. We'll do that for the column. Rotation, I'm going to pick 60 degrees here. You could do anything that you want, 30, 45, whatever figure that you want. And I'm going to change this column number to 6. Okay, I select on my object and I hit create and you see that I've cloned that all the way around. Again when you're done 
you can take this, ungroup everything, delete your construction lines. Whoops. I'll make sure that everything is ungrouped. There we go. Okay, we'll slide that back over. Change our fill. And that's how you make a circular array. Thank you, Tav Myung, and thank you for watching. I'm HeathenX.